So what we've seen through the pandemic is a decline in participation rates through breast screen. There's been a decline of 9% nationally. And what that means is that then often we are not able to treat breast cancer or pick it up early. And we start to see late stage presentations. And the earlier we can pick up breast cancer diagnosis, the better outcomes that people will have. We really encourage those people to get checked out early if they notice any symptoms, but also if they notice symptoms between screening appointments that they actually go and seek advice from their medical practitioner or GP. It's important to understand that risk of getting breast cancer is one in seven for women. And there is a myth that some people believe that if a family member has had breast cancer, that you're most likely to get breast cancer. However, understanding that risk is really important. So talking to your GP or health practitioner to understand that is what we would encourage people to do. So a period of time, there was a backlog of appointments. So certainly Breast Screen have, have worked nationally to try and combat the backlog of, of those people wanting to attend an appointment for Breast Screen. But certainly it's not only the appointments and availability of screening, but it's also people prioritising their health and prioritising screening as a preventative mechanism to ensure that they actually detect something early. Particularly over the last few years, we have seen that people have not necessarily prioritised their health. And so for a number of reasons, whether that's work priorities, uh, putting yourself last, uh, looking after elderly parents, and also the challenges that the pandemic has presented, the message is clear that we really do encourage people to reactivate those appointments, keep up their regular health checks, and uh, particularly breast screen. The main message is that breast cancer won't wait. And so early detection is pivotal to ensure that we see better outcomes for people diagnosed with breast cancer.